Oh wow, looks like we're back for another Umbrella Chronicles episode. This time I'm being joined by, of course, always Ron Moore, Lady Zelda, and wait, who is that? Is that Revenant Spectre? Greetings <laughs> and salutations to you all once again. After being gone for such a long, long time, it's like back, you know, when a pro wrestler makes a grand entrance after being gone out on injury or something for an entire year. Wow, Revenant Spectre's back. Exactly. <laughs> I'm back here black! Back here black! Well, I'm not gonna sing ACDC because I'll get copyright strike. Wait, is this Rabbit Spectre or Cartman? Back here black! It was the year. <laughs> oh, We're playing uh, South Park now on this 2K. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't done any South Park games on this 2K channel. Now I'm surprised we haven't back when we got J-Man were around full time. I know you guys did the Beavis and Butthead, but that's about it. That was fun. We got Weavis and Buttman. That was that was good. Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> Rockwee and Bullchin too. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe this game is like 13 years old. Uh, Umbrella Chronicles. I can't believe this LP is almost two years old. Oh <laughs> man. We are slowly but surely working our way through this. I think this might beat my record of my Ocarina of Time LP on the Rumor Channel going on. Probably three years. <laughs> Whoa, has it really been that long? No, not on S2K, but the Rommor LP from 2010 to 2013. Oh, jeez. Oh, three years? Wow. That's a... <clears throat> yeah. Wow, we're back with uh, the Predator Chronicles. Star starring Mr. GG. How you doing, Mr. GG? No, I wish. I wish. <laughs> so be careful what you wish for. No, we're back here with Jill and Chris on this. Um, it's part never of the over. Chronicles. Speaking of Resident Evil, I can't wait for the Resident Evil remake to be out this April. Resident Evil Three remake. Oh, yeah. oh Resident Evil Three that remake. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, Resident Evil Three remake. Oh my God. Because the Resident <laughs> Evil Two remake uh, was very, very successful. Oh yeah, it was. I I hadn't even like beaten all of it, man. Like I, I beat my first playthrough with Leon, but I haven't with Claire. And uh, my fiance, she beat it with Leon, and she got like part way through it with Claire. I don't know. She might have beat it with Claire. I'm not sure. She was doing some side some side uh, stories. They ended up at again, but I don't know. You know, there's a lot going on in that game. There's you can play that game and still not see everything. It's going to take a lot of playthroughs to play through that game and have all that extra stuff in DLC. It's definitely yeah. worth the money that game. You know, Ric Flair should have named his daughter Claire. Claire Flair? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I was thinking about that for a second. Uh, Claire Flyer. Claire Flyer. Woo! Shut up, fat boy. I'm the nature it's boy, Ric outside. Flair. I've been in the Super Bowl commercial. You haven't. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> Dang. Watch the Super Bowl commercial ad pull up right next to this video. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to check out the commercials. I don't care. I don't care anything about sports or care or cared about the game or anything. Else. I just want to see the commercials, and I've already seen like a couple of them that people had posted on social media, and I was like, oh my god. That was so funny, especially when Jason Momoa was like taking off his muscles and he was just like this really skinny dude. <laughs> I loved it. I loved that. Absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Took off his hair and he was like balding all up on top. I was cheering for the Mavericks. Sounds like such a Ron Mora answer right there. <laughs> Whoa, look out. So how many baskets did both of the teams make last night on the ice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, how how to make three uh how to make three uh fan bases mad at the same time. Oh, there's a way to do it. How many home runs did he run? <laughs> yeah. You're out of there. Strike. Four. How many goals did he make in the end zone uh on at, at the home plate? <laughs> I don't know. Why is he running at the opposite end? He should run to his own team's name at the other end of that field there. Yeah, why enter enemy territory? <laughs> because it's fun and it's dangerous. And danger is my middle name. No, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not. <clears throat> I really wonder if there's somebody out there that has the middle name dangerous. 
There's some crazy parent out there that's done that to their child. I'm Trust sure me, yeah, I know they'll do that. Danger's my middle name. Yeah, like uh, the tag team, uh, what's it called, Demolition? Yeah. It's one of the lyrics that's about, uh, some danger is, or something is our middle name. I forgot, dang it. Oh, pain and destruction. Ooh. Pain and destruction is our middle name. Dun, 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 dun. I haven't heard their theme song in like, well, since they were actually wrestling back in the what, early 90s. Their theme song is underrated. Freaking awesome. I think it's the same guy that might have done Hulk Hogan's Real American uh, interest music. I'm not sure. It's a true fact, people. Check it out. If Whoa. Real oh, no. He Lil Key's contracted the T virus. Oh, no. My, my little doxy. Yeah. <laughs> Someone all out. Yeah, uh, low key. Uh, uh, Chance, uh, Butch, and Sundance. I forgot your dog's names. I keep forgetting it. <laughs> That's how you <laughs> always remember Max. them, as though. Chance oh, and Max. Uh, okay. Ah, <laughs> Rauru! <laughs> Rauru? Rauru? <laughs> I am Rauru, the stage of light. Rauru? <laughs> what was that thing you posted on Facebook, Victoria? To my R R R R, -R A U X, and I go R R R. <laughs> Spelled it out. Oh yeah, I was asking people what color they like their roux: blonde, peanut butter, dark, or milk chocolate. And yeah. it's like roux, roux, and I'm like, oh god, dark. <laughs> roux, <Rauru>, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, I'm like in the Cajun nation, and you're all like roux. <laughs> <laughs> oh lordy! <laughs> yeah, he just comes right up on my stash and just goes woo woo, and I, I, I start laughing like a freaking moron. <laughs> People are looking at me crazy, and I'm like, just <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what? What is so funny about our row row? It's an inside joke. <laughs> hey, if you knew, you'd be laughing too. If you knew, you'd be laughing too. Yeah, exactly. You had to be there to understand it. I wonder if anybody has died laughing, literally. I've actually uh, heard that somebody has, but I don't know how true it is. You know, I mean, at least they went out on a high note. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez, it sounds laugh, messed up. Honey. It sounds messed up, but I mean, I'm just saying. Hopefully, they, they've laughed for a good wholesome reason. Unless you're evil villain, the world's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> I could probably imagine somebody passing out from laughing too much, but I never really knew about dying. But I'm pretty sure it could happen. This it episode, seems like you'd be starving for oxygen. This episode of Soundfield where Jerry was trying to entertain the sick guy in the hospital, and he was making the guy laugh so hard, all of a sudden he just stops. You it don't show the guy; it shows Jerry have a, hor a horrified look on his face, and the audience is laughing. And Jerry goes, uh, hey, hello? You still with me? So apparently he died laughing literally. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Well, at least, it, at least it went out being entertained. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's like someone died. No, this is like a, a saying. I died laughing. What they really did. Is that, should you be happy for him or what? It's just like when people say, laughing my ass off on social media. It's like, if you laughed your ass off, how would you sit down? Well, technically you could. You just kind of probably would fall over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it probably wouldn't feel very good either. <laughs> More than likely it's, not. Where I live at, um, there's a traffic circle, and it's a famous saying. Because so many people have gotten in wrecks on the circle over the years. And there's a saying, it says, I survived the circle. And there were like t-shirts and stuff sold saying that. And oh, I, I thought to myself, wait a minute, so what if someone's driving on the circle wearing that shirt and they get killed? Would, <laughs> they, be, would they be considered a liar? <laughs> uh, I don't know well, they, they, they couldn't necessarily be considered a liar because they wouldn't be able to own up to it considering they would already be dead. So, Yeah. I'm like, what if someone died on the circle wearing that shirt? And I mean... Should, should we laugh or not? No. <laughs> roundabouts, roundabouts are simple to use, but like, well over half of the people in the freaking world don't know how to use them, and it's just it's terrible. If you just, I, I remember. I was going to say, if you just yield where you're supposed to yield, there'd be no problem. Stay in your own lane. 
Exactly. It's like you come up to it. You're supposed to yield to everybody around you. When it's clear, you go, and then you take the first exit to the route that you know that you're going to be going, even if you got to turn on your GPS if you don't know exactly which one you're supposed to take. And it's the same way when you're coming back. You just go right around, do the, the exact same thing. And I remember the first time that I ended up coming up on one. I mean, I wasn't driving. Um, I don't know if it was one of my friends or if it was my fiance or something. First time I saw it, I had seen it on TV, but I was like, how the hell do you use this? And then I saw it, and I'm like, oh, okay, so oh, that's not hard. But other people other people try to act like the world revolves around them, and they just got to go, go, go. It's like, I'm going to go run over anybody that gets in my way. Yeah. Common sense, non-existent in 2020. Boy, that's the truth. <laughs> How not to pull a Mexico. How not to pull a Mexico. Good question. <laughs> uh, you, you don't die, that's all it is. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you are immortal. I die more times in my LPs than I, I, I don't even know. I can't even stay. This is the place. I was actually doing a little bit of a Assassin's Creed Odyssey today. I was streaming it on my channel. And like, not half of the stream, but like a few good minutes of it was just like nothing happening. Because I had to go do some laundry real quick because I was trying to get some things done. So I'm like, I'll be right back, guys. And <laughs> I came back and I'm just like, oh my god, how long have I been gone? So, I don't know how long in that stream, it's like, it's just, nothing was happening but just a steel screen. Was it the same laundry room where you said, get good, get good? <laughs> no, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> this was inside of, this was, a, this was inside of my own home. This wasn't actually at work, my previous workplace, uh, so a few years ago. <laughs> oh. Whoa, giant tarantulas. Yeah, no, this game has everything. This looks like you'd be a golden eye level. Yeah, it seems like it. Speaking yeah. of which, I, yeah. I wonder I wonder if this is like the same developers that ended up doing uh, Dead Space Extraction because they had like a first person thing that was just like this that they did with Dead Space that they actually had released with uh, I think it was either Dead Space 2 or Dead Space 3 because it first came out on the Wii. And you could use like the PlayStation Move controllers, or just use like the regular controller. And uh, obviously, it's a lot more faster because you're dealing with faster enemies. But um, I wonder if this is like the same developer that got involved with that because it kind of looks like it in a ways. Uh, that's a possibility because this game, uh, that game came out not too long after this one, and mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll find out once we see the credits or mm -hmm. the comment section for sure. I know that. Did it come from the According same? According to the internet. Did it come from the same developers? 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 De <sighs> I have no idea. But anyways, um, <laughs> do you, do you, oh, y'all remember that meme? Um, Steve, what's his name? Steve Ballmer, the CEO of what was it? Uh, dang it, Microsoft. He did mm -hmm. that speech years ago, but he was on stage sweating profusely, going, "Developers, developers, developers, developers." De he kept on saying like 20, 25 times, almost ran out of breath. It was mm. just, it was just so funny. Yeah, go look it up. Steve Ballmer, developers, became like this huge meme in two thousand four. Oh God, I do remember that now. Right, it. <laughs> yeah, I'll check that out. Now I fully remember it. There's I um. That you don't want to remember. Yeah. That's one of them. That would probably be like an interesting let's play to do. This is uh, is Dead Space Extraction because it's like this, but it's more. It's probably a heck of a lot, probably a heck of a lot more gory and graphic, I would think, and more adult than this is. Oh yeah, by far, definitely. I agree with yeah. you on that. I played. <laughs> yeah, I want to play exactly. Resident ECW. Is that where you're going and having hardcore wrestling matches against zombies? Zombies, yeah, the, yeah. The, the ECW zombie, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was one of the stupidest things WWE ever did. My goodness, and, and Taz, Taz and Joey Styles, I bet they felt stupid right. being uh, a part they, of that. They, I remember ta uh, Joey Styles cut that work to shoot promo talking about, I'm tired of this sports entertainment crap. And PW Insiders Mike Johnson was like, Joey, mm. you're looking real good right there. Doing the work shoot, talking about you're tired of the sports entertainment circus, and now you're a part of it with the new ECW. <laughs> Exactly. Ooh. And what else? Uh, Taz, and you know Taz was fed this line. He goes, I think this ECW might be better than the original. I'm like, oh, man, you don't mean that. 
Somebody had to pay. Him. You know he was fed. You know he was fed. You know he was fed that line. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. He was. Angry Kermit the Frog after us. <laughs> Kermit the Frog turned heel. <laughs> he got Don't pissed off because Miss Piggy wouldn't give him any. Now yeah. He's got this head cannon going. <laughs> so he got so two jacked, Kermit. If Miss Piggy won the Money in the Bank ladder match, would she be Miss Piggy in the Bank? We'll have to check it out. Miss or Piggy, Piggy, Piggy in a blanket? <laughs> <laughs> Piggy in a blanket. <laughs> Those are good. I keep calling call them kolaches, though, but they're not. Oh, yeah, I'll take one of those yeah, kolaches yeah. over there. Yeah, Tanya actually made some of those last night, and I was like, "Oh, we got some extra one of these. I'll make some of these for lunch. Little tiny little things, peachy, peachy." Yeah, they're pretty good. Oh my god, I need to get back to playing Sekiro. I'm looking at the Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, a little uh, letter opener that Tanya had gotten from GameStop for free. They had a bunch of extra ones, and she's like, "Hey, can I have one of those?" I'm like, "Yeah, take it." I was like, "She's like, oh, cool." She didn't even pre-order the game or nothing. They just gave it to her. Hell yeah. As, as I showed in my stream, I still have the Mega Man t-shirt that GameStop gave to those that reserved the copies of Mega Man Anniversary Collection in 2004. Do you, do you wear it or do you just kind of keep it as a collector's I haven't item? Wore it. I keep it as a collector's item, but I took a picture before my stream started and showed people on stream, um, hey look, I still have it. It still fits. Barely. <laughs> Barely. I got a little poochie in the front, but other than that, yeah. it's alright. <laughs> yep. It's all it barely fits, but it fits. Yeah. <laughs> so many dang glass of tacos. Samurai Edge 2. Yeah. The Ed, Samurai Ed, Edge 2. Edge is back, and I guess he's going to wrestle again. Oh, yeah. Yep, going to go against Randy Orton. You know it. He's probably not going to show back up until WrestleMania, though. I'm confused, though. Like, I thought Edge could not physically wrestle anymore. How did he get cleared? Uh, from what from what I had heard, I don't know if it was I can't remember if it was that night or if it was on Raw. I think it was on Raw. He had like a second neck surgery or something, and I have no idea what in the world they had done, but something had to have happened for him to be able to to come back into the ring like that. They must have done something, some other type of surgery, something I don't know. I had a couple of friends of mine saying that they were like, "Well, it's good to see Edge back, but it really is going to suck if." Um, he goes and ends up like killing himself or paralyzing himself just because he wanted to come to come back for one last moment with the fans and, and soak all that in and whatnot. They were saying he doesn't need to come back but when it's risking his health. But I don't know, man. I mean, we don't know what's going on with him or what type of other surgery he's had or what's been going on. So, I mean, we can't really say that, you know. <clears throat> yeah. I just hope nothing bad happens. How, how old is he now? He's uh forty, 40 right? yeah he's forty six I believe. Okay, he's not as old as I probably thought he would be, but yeah, I mean, I hope I hopefully uh, not, even if you can't see him in his prime, even if you can't perform like he could years ago, I mean, as long as he probably still do at least decent. If he can still be like seventy percent of the performer he was, it'll still be pretty cool. But <clears> I just hope yeah, I hope nothing like he don't get seriously injured or something or paralyzed or anything. Yeah, he's 46 or 47. I don't know. Maybe the almighty Google will tell me. Yeah, because Google knows everything. Yeah, he didn't Indeed. do too bad in the Royal Rumble Edge. Yeah, it says he's 46 here. I, I love the uh, his interest music. On this day, I see clearly. <laughs> Dude, I, I saw that. Music. I saw his Royal Rumble entrance in reverse because I'm, I'm like, uh, I like um, or subscribe or whatever to one of these Facebook pages when this guy would take like different scenes of running in reverse and it's so hilarious man seeing seeing like a clip of him that i think was taken from wwe network and the guy just reversed it and everything is all running backwards and it's just hilarious yeah i saw one where uh it was hulk hogan and bruce beefcake and uh Meiji and oakland i think talking backwards yeah <laughs> and the way hulk hogan it's <laughs> like sound like the drunk germans or something <laughs> Oh, I get amused by some of the most stupidest stuff like that, man. Something so simple. It's just it's hilarious to me because it's just so dumb. Oh, man. The simple pleasures in life. Exactly. Yeah. And Tanya will look at me like I'm crazy. She's like, you're so crazy. You're weird. And, and you know, I was like, yeah, well, matter of fact, speaking of which, Heather and I from the Pixel Gamer Girls channel, she was actually wanting to start a channel of, like, reverse footage and she took, um, she kind of did a little bit of a test where uh, 
I told her, I said, did you happen to have like a reverse mode in your, um, on the, your video program on your computer? And she says, yeah, I do actually. Well, I said, you ever think about actually taking some of our videos and running them in reverse? And she's like, wait a minute. She's like, I'll go and get a couple of yours and do it. And when she did it, she sent them to me and we were just cracking up, man. Like the way, <laughs> some of the rants that I was doing, it sounded like I was trying to like chant some type of magical spell over somebody with the way that the way that my voice sounded going with everything I was saying was going backwards. Yeah. I wonder, uh, I wonder what the ECW chant sounds backwards. <laughs> it's probably like Probably like I don't know, I'm trying to speak backwards, that ain't gonna work. How about, backwards? Find out. Oh my god. <laughs> probably, well, I would, I would. It's probably how it sounds. <laughs> Some hater will post my channel, well, it makes sense, because your your videos are ass backwards, Ronnie. <laughs> 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 it's my social face. Oh! Literally. Oh, snap. Ooh, who said that, Bear? No, I'm just kidding. He would say that. So is your face. Oh, <laughs> shut up. I've been... Check it out, we got streams or collab streams recently. It's oh hey, it's the, the guys from S2K. Wow, he's not he's no longer called We Guy, he's now called Nico something, Nico Tengu or something. So, go, so the We Guy, I guess, rest in peace. Kinda like uh the Happy Field Game Nerd is that character is resting in peace, but the his whoever whatever name he's using now is still around, but the the Happy Field Game nerd character is done I guess the wee guy name whatever is done but yeah he's still around I didn't know that doing stuff on I guess just twitch only maybe not so much YouTube I don't know yeah didn't he just do the 8 bit stereo for a while and then yeah the twitch that's how I yeah. mostly remember yeah This game will drive you bat shit crazy. There's Jill. Where's Jack? All the back one up. Oh, he went up the hill. He didn't get in a hill, pillow water. He went over the hill. Oh. He went down the hill. Face first into the grave. Uh, King of the hill? I tell you what. I tell you what. Rabbit Inspector, your voice could have been on that show. I tell you what. I tell you I'm not a fan. I get in shape. I tell you what, I, 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 I time out of the country. Hey, what about hey? Now you sound like that guy from Waterboy. Yeah, uh, Farmer Fred. Uh, they, were, they, were, they, were, <laughs> they were all in the locker room. You remember that time Bobby did this? You remember that time Bobby did that? And then he goes, Yeah, you remember that time when. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> it's like a mixture between Absolutely. Rabbit Inspector and Archangel Zero. Yeah, there you go. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 and uh, Lady Zelda's dead. I'm she totally to death. Beast, man. Hello from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weather like over there? Cloudy with a chance of well, I don't know what. Chance of ECW chance of meatballs. Yes, that. <laughs> One of those. I see submachine gun right there in the top left. It makes me want to. I have a craving for freaking sub submarine sandwich. Thanks a lot, Ernest. Hey, sub sandwiches. Not a non official sponsor. Sub, sub machine. Speaking of sub, guys, make sure to subscribe. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> there you go. El Subbo. El Subbo. Yeah, somebody will make an account, YouTube account called El Subbo. He just su sub for sub, guys. Sub for sub. Remember that crap? Jeez. If you remember <laughs> that crap. Then you're old. You're old. Sub you for sub. Wow. For sub. Oh yeah. Well, I'm one. I'm, I don't know if I call myself an OG of YouTube. I wasn't around the very beginning, but I still I was around. Starting 2007 when all that stuff went down. Sub for sub, and back when you just actually send friend requests on YouTube. Chad hmm. Warren. Chad Warren. A guy named Wavy Wavy Websurf recently did a video about Chad Warren. It's pretty good. And that was that was Archangel's hero. Angel loved Chad Warden. <laughs> He's hilarious. He trolled everybody. He got everybody good. Gear, gears of War. I'm like, Gears of War. Too bad we couldn't get him on commentary. <laughs> right, that'd be something. I'm here with the... Man, ST2K? Man, y'all ST2K. Man, get out of here. 
<laughs> That's perfect. That's dead on. That's exactly. I imagine the commentary between right. him and Angel. Oh man, that'd be golden. Absolutely. That'd be the best commentary team ever. They wouldn't need anybody. We they wouldn't need us anymore. I'd be done. You'd be done. All of us would be done. Just those two run the channel. They were raking more, <laughs> more views and subscribers than we ever did in ten plus years on the channel. Ten plus days. Dude. Ten plus days. Ten plus days. That's all it would take them. To surpass us. STD. Y'all yeah, sound like y'all got a disease or something. STD. Man, get out of here with that, man. Or STDK. <laughs> STDK. <laughs> STD Donkey Kong. The Donkey Kong. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Oh the God. STD rap. <laughs> oh, jeez. You are dead. Yeah, yeah. But Lady Zelda's dead. Don't put your I'm thing the in the stink, because things will happen. Hey, people be slaying me every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Lord, have mercy. Ooh, there goes a child. Well, what was that? Yeah. A white child running down the hallway. Where's CPS? It's a trap. That's a good question. CVS too? No, oh wait. CV CVS, the drugstore? CVS, yeah. <laughs> That's tall. What the heck is going on why they, Why's it called Covis? <laughs> That's a good question. Whoa, is, that's, these uh, enemies, they look like uh, that character from Mortal Kombat 11. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, you're the talking collector. about collector? the insect lady. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, huh. okay, never mind. No, collector. Yeah, oh yeah, I know who you're talking about now, yeah. I know who you're talking about, but I haven't played Mortal Kombat 11 yet. I'm kind of not really into fighting games like I was back in the 90s. So. Yeah, I haven't played it either, but I've seen the whole movie, or the storyline. Yeah, of the I watched game. the story mode. I watched the story mode, I always do that. I spoil myself. I'm like, well, it was freaking oh, awesome. it, so I'll watch it. I need to check that out. Then. Hey, speaking of which, have you heard about the new animated film that's coming out of uh, Mortal Kombat? It's supposed to be out, um, I think, in, I think it's this month or April? I, first I can't remember. I heard but there's a motion picture. Are they making a motion picture, though? Uh, yeah, they are making a motion picture, and it's supposed to be rated R, and there's supposed to be fatalities and everything in it, which obviously would make sense given the content, but there's an actual animated movie called Scorpion's Revenge, and oh. I believe it, it is going to be on TVMA, but um, there's a trailer out for it right now, and I don't know if it was supposed to be out this month or April or something like that, huh? out on the to Blu-ray and DVD. I don't know if it's going to go to streaming services or not. Probably will. I've seen people live stream that game. Nitro Online streams it. Uh, yeah, that game is freaking awesome, man. But I never played it myself. I actually, honestly, I, I never really cared about Mortal Kombat after three. I just I fell off on that. Um, I just didn't really care about it anymore. But I, I did like back then when it made this comeback in 2011. Um, with the, the mm -hmm. remake or whatever it was, the storyline. I saw that, and then Mortal Kombat 11 comes out. Swindoll, I think, has it. Swindoll still loves Mortal Kombat to this day. He might have the latest games that came out in recent years, not including 11. If anybody does, it's him. Yeah, definitely. <coughs> His fatality, the WAP, just I don't know, literally uh, just slaps you so hard. WAP just knocks your head off. And <laughs> uh, remember Jax's fatality. The, the was it uh, Slapjack or Slapjack? Or <coughs> go clap his hands. Go just clap your head like, psh, just smushes your face. Oh, yeah, he makes your head explode. That. Yeah. That was cool. I also liked when he uh, turned got he turned to a giant and just stepped on, stepped on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, other than 20, other than 20. Fatality. Yeah, I remember that. That was so awful. Crazy. In 2020, though, he probably would have a fatality instead of like doing the clapper with his hands. He would do it. He would, he would like ass clap their head or something, and just like <laughs> smash their head and butt cheeks and make it explode. Have y'all heard of uh, Mortal Kombat Chaotix? Mm, no. It's a fan made like a fan made game. They use Mugen or whatever. And it's a oh, YouTube that. channel. It's called Fight Night. A YouTube channel called Fight Night or something. And they, they, man, they put, they do a lot of crazy stuff with that, man. It's like uh, it's all different characters from other games, like Akuma. They got Street Fa Van Damme Street Fighter in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Street Fighter the movie. And what else? Uh, they got some weird people I've never heard of before. They got like female Scorpion, female Sub-Zero, female Smoke, and a bunch of di weird different uh, fatalities. 
Ooh, and uh, different endings. Man, Fight Night. I forgot. I probably put in the description box or or Mexico will put in the description box rather. I forgot this is his video, not mine. Uh, and uh, freaking epic uh, <laughs> fan made game. It's always interesting to see what the fans make. <laughs> I can never make a game though. Probably future game developers as we know it putting their putting themselves out there like that. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, uh, what's it called? Uh, Bomber Games that did the Street Series remake. Which is pretty cool, except Sega told them to cease and desist. Uh, Streets of Rage oh, yeah. 4 is supposed to be out sometime soon. I have no idea when though. Yeah, it's sometime this year. I don't think they said the time, the actual day yet, but this year for sure. <clears throat> Ron's going to get it and start playing online with folks and, Maybe and uh, he, doing yeah. let's plays of that. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. I, I've seen it. I'm not impressed with the look of it, the graphics, but I mean, it might still be freaking epic. I'm sure I'm sure Swindoll's going to get it. We might play online together. Yeah. Well, whoa, we're live, pal. We're live. Actually, actually we're not live. Actually, we're not live. We're recording. We're doing live, damn it! Oh, wait, no, we ain't live. Yeah. <laughs> Sid Vicious. Yeah, live premiere. Wait, let me do that again. We're live, pal. Oh, sorry. Anyway! <laughs> <laughs> anyway! I love that. Uh, I forgot what he said after that. that. He, goes, he goes, sorry, then he went back doing the promo. How embarrassing is that? How do you not know that you're... I mean, how do you I'm not know you're live? I that. the brain that you have. <laughs> I, love, I love Sid Vicious, but yeah, he did some embarrassing botches. <laughs> yeah, especially when he broke his friggin' leg and WCW. Yeah, that, I did, I've watched that pay-per-view live, but I did not see that happen. Oh, I did not God. see that happen. I did not see that two years later, back when Kazaa and LimeWire were a thing, and it, before YouTube was around, I downloaded footage of old wrestling, uh, old wrestling footage. I, it says Sid breaks ankle graphic. I go what? And I saw. I go, oh man. Yeah. I never knew that happened ever. <clears throat> Makes my ankles hurt thinking about it. Yeah, me too. Ugh. Yeah, I was like, oh, jeez, man. Yeah, my ankle was bothering me like this morning because when uh, me and Tanya and her niece went out to a, to a Civil War um, cemetery that's near us um, <clears throat> on Saturday, walking up and down these hills, man, I thought I had it affected my uh, ankles or something, and one of them was really bothering me this morning. So, yeah, seeing that video doesn't even help. <laughs> yeah. You do not need to see it. For your eyes only. Oh, they're killing me. Oh, not really. I think uh, Lady Zelda's watching TV in the background. And nope, that would be someone else. <laughs> oh. <laughs> dun dun dun. <clears throat> Pot twist. <clears throat> Doink. The clown? Doink the clown. Doink. Doink. Pot, Pot twist the clown. Miracle. He twists the clown. I, I loved what the clown. I don't care what anybody says. Oh yeah, he was great when he was a heel. Yeah, he was oh, funny yeah. though as a face, especially yeah, he he was. with with uh, Jerry Lawler. Oh yeah, especially with Dink following him around Dink, everywhere. Dink, wink, and pink, and then Jerry yeah. Lawler sleazy, <laughs> cheesy, and queasy. Remember that match, yeah. Survivor Series? No, I don't. Yeah, I've watched it live. That's the first pay per view I ever watched live uh, on TV. Oh wow! And nice. uh, it was uh. Doink, Deke, Wink, and Pink, uh, Clowns Are Us, versus the Royal Family, Jerry the King Lauder, Sleazy, Cheesy, and Queasy. <laughs> they all end up turning on, on Jerry Lauder because he took all the glory and like wouldn't let uh, his his partners uh, do anything or whatever, and just like treat them like garbage. So they all, they all, all of them turned on him, including Deke, Wink, and Pink, they all teamed up against him, and from behind, Doink threw a pie in his face. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> now that's how you do that. I don't clown around here though when as uh <laughs> well there's a lot of clowning yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh yeah as, as Chris and uh Jill uh, I guess they did a lot of damage here. What's going on here? We almost had a Jill sandwich. Oh that <laughs> we did. We almost had a Chris sandwich too at that. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Forget a submarine sandwich, want a Jill sandwich. Oh yeah. Wow chicka wow wow. Go to Subway and be like, I want the Jill sandwich special. Yeah. And you would hope somebody would get that joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wonder, uh, you, know, you know what? Now I want to think about doing that now. I'm sure someone has. You know, oh, yeah. if I do it and put it on YouTube, I'll probably look first on YouTube, see if I'm behind. anybody's done it first. And of course, they'll, they'll probably hear this and steal our idea, upload it on YouTube, then I'll file a copyright claim. No, I'm kidding. 
<clears throat> it would be funny if you ended up the person you the person the sandwich preparer that you were talking to was actually named Jill. <laughs> yeah. Or somebody somebody <laughs> working there would be named area. Jill at that point in time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, take every, I'm gonna look at every subway in my area and go to every single one and see if there's a jail there. <laughs> yeah, Just call him up. Hey, do you have a jail that works slammed. there? Who's asking? <laughs> uh, instead of Bimmy and Jimmy, how about Billy and Jilly? Ooh. It's on. No. Don't go. <clears throat> Wait, no. Why are you moving <clears throat> slow? Why don't you move the D-pad real fast? Oh, well, you can't do that in this game. I'm using the motion controls. I'm not even using the D-pad. Mode yeah, seven. the course of the course that'll work really a, a lot better with these these light gun type of games because you use the controllers. You have to adjust sensitivity. Sometimes you can't oh, yeah. get it right. Enough already. So yeah, that's right. This says mode ECW. <clears throat> this is on PS3, right? You do it. It's on PS3 and Wii. Oh, okay. Which way should we go? What's that switch? <clears throat> that device is linked to the door. If we take it out, the Your door face is linked to the door. Oh. Oh. You oh, got a grip I think face. I think I lost this part. That's a naked yeah, zambi. Naked zambi. We're having a party here. Naked snake. <laughs> exactly. Naked snake zambi. <laughs> oh, this mambi pambi. Whoa. It's not looking uh, good. What if somebody, what, what if a zombie had like the ability to think for itself along the lines of, if you ended up calling it a zombie, it would be like a racial slur to a zombie. <laughs> yeah. Don't you call me that word? <laughs> we prefer to be called the undead. <laughs> Precisely. Hey, you know how the world is. I, 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 I couldn't pass, I could not see that not happen. It yeah, happen. exactly. Zombies are the world is. They're able to think on their own. So when the zombies get too close, you just stab them with a knife and kick them. Exactly. <laughs> it works every time. Finish, finish them off with a little bit of flair. Woo! Stylish. Woo! Flair, flair. <clears throat> Finish him off with a Devil May Cry combo and get like a really radical looking name for your combo up in the corner of the screen. Yeah. Sweet. <clears throat> and that's one of them, actually. That sound that was made just sounded like it was from Devil May Cry, which would make sense considering Capcom makes Resident Evil and Devil May Cry. Yeah. <clears throat> Speaking of weird video game sounds, there's this gas station just down the road from us. And anytime they ever ring anything up, if anybody's buying anything in there, there's a sound that goes off that sounds just like the ring sound from Sonic anytime he picks up a ring. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, I heard a, a gas station. Yeah, I see, I've been to gas stations where whenever they ring you up, you get the Sonic ring. Oh, yeah, cool. that's it. Yeah. It's like, wow, I Sega's really needing money. I forgot what restaurant it was yeah. where if you order in the Macho Man's yeah, voice, you get, you get a discount. Oh yeah, I saw what? a meme of that. I would totally do that if I if I, if I saw where that was. I'm sure you understand the thrill of battle <clears throat> and the rush that comes with the feeling of being alive after a good battle. Another umbrella. Talk to Dracula. The latest. The things are about to go from bad to worse. Viper. Oh. You're all going to die down here. Cue up the slip knot. It's a big freaking <clears throat> gun. <laughs> <clears throat> That's not a gun. This. We need to shoot him down. That's my boost. That's not a rocket launcher. What do we do this now? is a rocket launcher. <laughs> we have to find a weakness. That's like a Pixar character. I can't put my finger on it. Like a a movie that came out recently. I forgot what it's called. Oh, uh, um, Big Hero Nine Six, whatever it's called. Yeah, something like that. That's like the big, yeah. love, big balloon guy, whatever the heck. I, I, I never seen the movie. I just seen the trailer. That was a great movie. That was a really good movie. It had a very anime aesthetic to it. 
Even though it wasn't anime, but it had like to it. I think it took place in like some futuristic Japan, I think. But like that was still a great movie. Big Hero Six, I think that's what it was, yeah. You should definitely Rainbow Six. Check it out. Rainbow Six, yeah. Awesome. Isn't he done fighting yet? <clears throat> Why won't you die? Because the moment of truth. He's got ECW mode. <laughs> I thought that was a robot for a second. I was like, it's a robot. You can't die. It can only be destroyed. Seriously, that's like the biggest rocket launcher I've ever seen. That's what she said. Oh. Okay, <laughs> DX. <laughs> the new member of DX. Ravenous Spec. I got two words for you. Subscribe now. Now the newest member, Disco Inferno, with his green and black disco tights. Oh my! What the what the piss is this? Whoa. Oh! And things just got even worse. This is Metro right now. This is. I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> it looks like Tyrant lost his lower body and just like transformed into some type of alien creature. Take it out. Your guess is as good as mine. At this point, I was like, really? I'm gonna have to fight this? Mr. X is now Mr. Uh, alien pod thing. Pod thing. Why well, I said pod thing. Oh, he's got a pod on his back, it looks like. Shoot the glow red bits! Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it! His face is sideways. How does he eat? I mean, his mouth is sideways, not his head. Good lord. Your face is sideways. <clears throat> oh! Oh! Make him say. Na 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 na. You make those sounds when you've had too much Taco Bell. Oh! Na 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 na. Man, this ain't no Master P. <laughs> Let me hear you say, uh! Oh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> that, that's the X rated version of Master P, but okay. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, man. Right, no limit soldiers at WCW. <laughs> Short lived. Weird dreams tonight. <laughs> no, this ain't Silent Hill Restless Dreams. Restless dreams are made of these. Who oh wait, that's yeah. the wrong lyric. <laughs> <laughs> Who hey, am I bad. to disagree? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what was the uh the game? Wow. He's shooting out grape jam everywhere. Somebody <laughs> needs to. Somebody needs to needs to get him a napkin. What's eating Gilbert grape jam? I would not want to. Apparently that alien dude, because he was shooting him out everywhere. That didn't even come out right either. I can't even express that. Good work. The end of the umbrella is just a question of time, but yeah, it's over. Oh, he's still out there. <laughs> no, the actually, it's Project Umbrella right, placed I'm... so much faith in and failed. We'll get to that However, in the year 2021. Chris and the others were <laughs> too quick to pat themselves on the back. And apparently, we got Professor Snape <laughs> doing the dialogue here. Faith that they would prevail against Umbrella. Yeah, Albert Whisker. If that was him. No, it was only with my help that they were able to succeed. The only thing that can well, the real Albert Hans Gruber is doing the voiceover. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy trails, Hans. So cruel. <laughs> <clears throat> Results? That didn't take 12 minutes. That took 44 minutes and one second. Rank exactly. E for ECW. All you right, thank suck. you guys for joining us for another episode <laughs> of the Umbrella Chronicles. I want to thank everybody here, Ravenous Spectre, Lady Zelda, and Ron Moore. You guys have a good night, and thank you. All right, that was just a practice run. Are we ready for real this time? <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah, funny. Well, luckily, I recorded it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> this call may be recorded for not. Yeah, for oh, ECW purposes. Perfect.